The creator of Happy Endings, David Caspi, has teamed up with one of that show's stars, Adam Pally, to bring us a new Peacock sitcom featuring, as himself, the great Steph Curry. Let's talk about Mr. Throwback. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my TV review for the new sitcom, Mr. Throwback. This is on Peacock right now, but uh, I've heard it also will air on NBC in September. There's only six episodes, so my guess is they'll probably double up, maybe two a night, uh, because most of their fall shows will premiere in October. So they have a few weeks kind of to play with there in September. But anyway, right now you can see them all on Peacock, and we're going to talk about this uh, in just a second. First, though, let me welcome you back to Dan Reviews It. If you are one of my subscribers already, thank you so much uh, for doing that. If you wouldn't mind uh, hitting that like button below or commenting, that stuff, of course, helps the channel as well. And if you are not one of my subscribers, I would love if you would click that subscribe button below and, uh, you know, would love to have you aboard there. All right. So, uh, Mr. Throwback, you know, uh, this is in the tradition of some great NBC sitcoms like The Office and Parks and Rec in that it is a mockumentary. Um, but it all seems very sort of authentic in that regard. Like, you know, Parks and Rec, we never really knew, like, that was the, the concept but unlike The Office, where by the end we actually saw the camera crew and stuff here, the camera crew is readily available because they are following Steph Curry around, so that makes sense. But the basic premise is Adam Pally uh, plays this dude, Danny Grossman, who was a sixth grade basketball phenom. He was actually on Steph Curry's team, and he just was the, the best apparently in the country. He was on the Wheaties box and all of that stuff uh, while Steph Curry kind of sat on the bench uh, watching from afar. Um, and then uh, Ego Wodum uh, plays another of their childhood friends, Kimberly Gregg, uh, who is now Steph Curry's um, like assistant kind of thing. Um, and so Danny finds himself very, very down on his luck and uh, owing – ninety thousand dollars uh for some bad decisions that he made and uh, he realizes well who do i know that has ninety thousand dollars that uh, might be able to help me steph curry so he uh you know bumps into him at one of the games of the warriors and uh you know one thing leads to another and he ends up telling him that he has a very sick child uh and needs the money for that so that's you know kind of the basic premise uh and the ego votum character and uh, you you will know her from Saturday Night Live probably, but um, but the her character is uh, very distrusting of Danny, saying that uh, you know look he he scammed everybody back then, and and they get into the backstory and why he didn't become a basketball superstar like Steph did if he was so good. Uh, they get into all that. I, I won't really spoil that for you, but uh, in any event, that's that's the basic premise here. So look, um, I am not a sports person, but. I know who Steph Curry is. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, uh, this is... <laughs> there. There's several people, you know, that along the uh, the careers I have known. Michael Jordan, you know, I, I don't think I ever watched a basketball game in my life when Michael Jordan was a superstar, but you couldn't escape him and, uh, you know, Shaq and all of that. Uh, Steph Curry is one of those that is kind of defied, um, you know, just being an athlete. And he is, um, you know, just a celebrity at this point. And certainly he is, you know, at the top of the game at the sport as well. But even non-sports people know exactly who he is. He is great here. So let's start there. Um, you know, he's playing himself. But a lot of times when we see people playing themselves as a series regular anyway, it is more like an actor sort of portraying themselves, trying to get their mojo back, like, you know, um, Matt LeBlanc in episodes, or obviously Larry David in Curb, um, you know, is, is sort of the touchstone there. But here we have, um, you know, an athlete not just doing a guest shot or whatever, or one episode. I mean, he is the co-star of this show. Um, and he is, honestly, he's fantastic. He's such a natural. Um, and I, I'm sure he is you know, done a lot of interviews over the years and he sort of honed those skills. Um, but, you know, acting is a little bit different than uh, just kind of being yourself at a press conference or whatever. Um, so, uh, look, he's a natural and uh, he, he is great in this. Adam Pally um, is playing a similar character to uh, ones that we have seen before, sort of the lovable loser character. Um, you know, a little bit of Max in uh, Happy Endings, but some of the other things he's played over the years, um, you know, sort of lean into that as well. And here, 
you know, he's this divorced guy who is trying to work things out with his ex-wife while making his daughter proud and all of this, uh, but, you know, owing all this money to, to these bad people, and, um, you know, he's, he's really dug himself a hole. So, um, he's certainly a loser, but um, the script makes him redeemable enough, um, and yes, uh, not great that uh, he's he's playing off the, the sick daughter angle when that's not really what's happening, um, and maybe we'll get to uh, the meat and potatoes of that as the season progresses, um, but, you know, he, he is uh, the Adam Pally that, that we sort of uh, know, even on the Mindy Project, like, yeah, he was a doctor, but he was he was sort of the the outcast, um, you know, of of even that group, you know. Um, but anyway, so uh, he's he's great. Ego Wodum, look, I love her on SNL, um, and obviously this is through Universal and Peacock, and uh, even though Lorne Michaels is not one of the producers, um, you know, like he was on the Keenan Thompson show, um, I'm sure you know he gave his blessing and said, okay, you know, go off and do these six episodes. Uh, I, I imagine they had to shoot this whole thing around Steph Curry's schedule, right? Um, but, uh, this is one of these shows that I think has a lot of potential. It's tough to see, um, all of it in the first six episodes, but I will say, I think, um, these first, I didn't watch the whole six. I will, I will admit that I watched the first three. Um, but, uh, you know, Parks and Rec had, uh, a, a little bit of a tumultuous start pretty famously and then got underway. You know, the first four episodes of Seinfeld, um, you know, when they had that really short four episode run in the summer, the one year. Oh boy, you know, thank God NBC saw something in it uh, because the audience did not, you know, um, and this certainly does not um, fall under those umbrellas. I think it is more like, um, I can't even say The Office because that's kind of, you know, those first few episodes were almost direct rips from the UK version. So it almost didn't even have its own identity. But uh, this is a show that I think uh, more episodes maybe would have uh, given us more to, uh, to live with these characters. But, um, the, the first episode, you know, is a little shaky. I will admit they're setting up the premise. They're setting up the characters. Um, you know, certainly we've seen it done better, but once we get to, uh, those subsequent episodes, the second episode really kind of kicks into gear. Um, it gives us the whole family dynamic with, uh, the Danny character. Um, I think the show has potential. I don't know what the thought process is with it because obviously Steph Curry is still a very active, um, you know, athlete and he just, he just, you know, played at the Olympics and all of this. Um, so certainly in demand, is this going to be one of those shows that can only give us six episodes every season because of his schedule? I don't know. Um, but I certainly see a lot of potential here. I'm intrigued, uh, that they're going to maybe put it on NBC for a few weeks in September because look, not everybody has Peacock. I think that's a great idea. Curry obviously has a lot of fans all over the place. Um, so maybe people that don't have Peacock will be able to sample this show. Um, and, and I, I really wish some of the streamers would do more of that. You know, uh, and CBS has done a little bit of that with the stuff on Paramount Plus, I guess. But, uh, but anyway. For now, I leave Mr. Throwback with a B plus. Uh, you know, there's there's some good laughs to be had here, and uh, boy, I, Steph Curry, I think after uh, his his uh, athletic career comes to a close, sure he could be a commentator probably, but uh, I think maybe acting could be in his future because he is really a natural here. All right, thank you so much for watching Dan Reviews, and I'll see you next time.